Hello, welcome. Uh, welcome everyone to this uh, new uh, lecture series of uh, on AWS uh, from M class. So in this video, basically, I am going to start the uh, ta start telling the services and uh, how to use the services. How can uh, create your account, IAM account, and all these series, all these services will be going on uh, step by step. So in this particular video, I will be discussing one thing that is how to use the EC2 service to launch a Windows system remotely so yes you can uh, create this uh, windows system and you can access the uh, system remotely so without much delay let us uh, go to my account so i have a uh, free account here so i have taken the free plan you can create your account as well so when you go to create your account so it will ask for two types of user one is root user one is i am user so about this i am user i will uh, tell some in other video in this video i am going to talk about only ec2 and let us start with the root user if you have IAM user also you can uh, do the same thing that I am doing you can uh, use that as well okay so I am signing as a root uh, root user and I am giving my password here so after you give your password it will directly go to the AWS console so that is the home page of you and here you have to go to your uh, EC2 service so already I have been to all these services so by default it is showing here in recently visited but once you open for the first time it will not come here so what you have to do here you just type ec2 okay so when you type ec2 so this will come up and you go to right click and go to the new tab so make sure that always you go to the new tab to create uh, any new service so once you go to the new tab before you start anything we need to have something uh, to change the region so here it is by default north virginia as i mean india i should say uh, i should check the um, region at the India so here it is Asia Pacific Mumbai is there so you have to select this region here and you can see in your main account in my main main accounts also it is North Virginia so you need to make it Mumbai so why the region has to be changed it will work in any region so that is not a problem but why you need to change the region there is a reason for that I will discuss that in some other uh, video today let us just consider that uh, let us just consider that how we can create a ec2 sub ec2 instance so basically uh, ec2 instant uh, is a thing where you can create virtual uh, means uh, your virtual windows right so virtual windows means so you can create virtual windows and virtual uh, linux system virtual mac os system so everything you can uh, do it okay so basically ec starts here ec2 stands for here e means elastic c means compute and then cloud so 2c are there so that's the name comes as ec2 elastic elastic compute cloud so uh, to go uh, to create your instances so you can go you can go here to the instances you can see here so this after going to instances as i have no instance here it is not showing and uh, then what you have to go to we have to go to launch in instances okay so now it will come to a page where you have to create your instance so basically instance means you are going to create one virtual machine here so let me give a name here to my virtual uh, machine that i am going to create so I'll name i will give uh, give your let's say windows you can uh, give any name you want so i'll just type windows here so this this is what i am going to create a virtual machine here and the next is application and os images okay so what application or what os are going to use you can see multiple things are there aws uh, amazon uh, amazon linux is there ubuntu is there windows is there red hat is there and as well as you can see mac os is also there and debian is also there basically this is based on linux also so we are going to create the windows so that's why you have to select windows here and then confirm the changes so after you go to windows then it is asking for amazon machine image so which version you are going to use so here you see different different versions are available so make sure that you use the latest version and you should be seeing that free tier is eligible if your account is a free otherwise uh, you'll be get uh, means you'll get the bill for this if you choose anything else so better you choose this free tier okay so i have selected the microsoft windows which is a free tier version so eligible for free tier i will not be charged anything for this next is instant type so basically this instant type it is asking what is your uh, configuration of this so 1 gb of memory and uh, virtual cpu one virtual cpu is there 
and uh, see on demand linux pricing on demand windows pricing so 0.017 usd per hour uh, basically it's negligible amount but it depends again upon the uh, region which region you have selected so you can see uh, different different things are there but you need to select this t2.micro as a free tier account okay next is something called key pair to login so uh, we to access this from the windows uh, virtu virtually we need to have a key pair so for that if you have previous key pair you can use uh, key pair you can use or else you are going to create a new key pair here so how do so click on new key pair and you can name the key pair as well so i will write here windows that's it okay now it is asking two type of format is there we are going to use it with uh, remote desktop connection so let it be dot pm format do not change to dot ppk so if you use dot ppk then uh, again the process will be different for that so the, the, just uh, let it be dot pm and create a new key pair okay so what it will do so it will create one p key pair and it will ask it ask it uh, download okay so wherever it is just uh, keep on uh, keep down uh, download this file uh, later it will be used okay next is network settings so in network settings you have to do some changes here what changes go to edit here and in the subnet preference so here you can see i have uh, selected the mumbai region here so here i have selected the mumbai region asia pacific and ap south one is my region okay so there is a concept that in every region there is multiple uh, multiple clusters and zones are there so it is asking uh, ap south 1 a is written here ap south 1 c ap south 1 b is written here and it is showing that avail ip address available is 4009 so basically these are some information is given but make sure that you always choose the 1 a so if you even uh, change your uh, region here then also you have to select this first a b c will be available whereas somewhere 2 is available somewhere 4 is available so basically these are the backup systems uh, and this is the main system a okay so select this one and auto assign public ip so let it be whatever is default and uh, create security group so whatever it is let it be like that and here security group rule so here rdp is written rdp basically used for remote desktop connection so let it be default and you can see here different different uh, options are also there but for the windows uh, you should use the rdp okay and the protocol here by default whatever it is let it be and here in uh, source type so how do you access that you can make it custom you can make anywhere or you can make my ip so generally i use the my ip here so that it will just detect my ip and it will get connected and then configuration is there it is asking 30 gb and gp2 so this is a type of uh, general purpose storage what you are going to uh, so uh, going to use so whatever default is there so let it be no need to do any changes here and then here is the summary number of instances i am seeing one means i am going to create only one windows system if you get it two then two windows system will be created which we don't require so now with this just launch instance okay now it will create your virtual machine okay so successfully uh, my ins instance or the virtual machine is created go to view launch view instances so just refresh this and you can see here windows i have created so that is available here and the instance stays it's pending so it is being setting up now so it's not ready yet so you keep on refreshing so now it is running you can see and the status check has gone to initializing okay so once it is initializing once the initializing completes then only we can uh, do whatever we want to do there so keep on refreshing this okay so once it is uh, refreshed then we can start so it takes maximum okay so now you can see the status check is passed and two by two passed. so that means everything is ready my windows is ready and we can access that so now if i click here and select this so you can see the summary is coming out so here all the details uh, about this system is given okay so this is the ip public ip address this is the private ip address instant type is running so that means the windows is running actually we just need to uh, access it so we'll do that process so all these details are given here okay so so many details to learn here so once what is required you can just uh, go on that okay now in the security 
so some security things are given so if you want to add some more security you can do as well so like this different different tabs different different information is given here so if i go to storage here okay so you can see uh, root type is ebs and ebs optimization so whatever detail is there so it's given and this is the root folder okay so this is the root device name and root folder here it is okay now uh, we'll be proceeding to the how you can access this through remote desktop connection so now once you select this so you have to go to actions okay go to actions here because to connect from the we remote desktop connection we need the uh, your id password and the ip address as well so we'll show that remote desktop connection so in your windows just type remote desktop connection and uh, <coughs> you can open this so here it is asking me the ip so which ip i have to give here so this public ip i, I have here i need to give that ip so after you give that ip just go to remote desktop connection copy paste that ip and click on connect so once you connect so it is asking me some username and password but i don't have any username and password so how do we get that username and password so to get the username and password so you need to select this uh, with whatever instance is running here go to actions go to security okay and get windows password you need to click it here so once i click on this so it will uh, go to this where i have to generate the password how do i do that so here key pair associated with the instance we need to use so which one is so just now we have downloaded the uh, key pair so uh, here it is in my download uh, folder okay so this is what the file is downloaded just select this file and automatically it will take all the uh, content inside the file and this is the encryption of your uh, key so you just have to decrypt the password okay now you see the username is administrator and the password is this one so a bit long password so you have to copy this administrator the username okay we'll click connect here again the ip address is there so username is administrator and your password is uh, here it is given so i'll just copy the password and paste it here now let us see what is happening we'll click on open and uh, it is asking me the certificate so yes now you can see it has been connected to the remote desktop and uh, through remote desktop we are actually accessing my uh, remote uh, system or the remote computer that i have created through the ec2 service okay so first time boot up it just uh, takes some time uh, as if you are running the uh, windows for the first time right so that's what happening here so setting up the personal settings for microsoft windows media player so it's like just installing a windows in a pc for the first time it takes some time and here also it is taking some time uh, so after some time this windows will come up and uh, you can use the windows as well okay so you can see my this windows is ready and which windows is this this is the windows that is created by the ec2 service so if i minimize this one then you can see this is through a remote desktop connection one window is there and this one is my window is here so if i just maximize this so this is the system that i am going to use as a virtual system or the virtual machine so let us see the properties here and uh, what is available so we can right click here and uh, we can go to the properties so what version and what is used there all these things we can see it here so i'll maximize this so you can see here device name that something is assigned here ec2 amazon ss3 ckd ckds all these things are there processor which processor is used so here the intel geon processor and 2.3 to 2.3 2.3 gigahertz free clock frequency is used here a ram of 1 gb ram only is given okay 64 bit operating system product id is given here and then you can rename this pc as well so this option is also there so by default the pc name is something and you can change the pc name to something else okay and uh, then all the things are here so this is a windows server version okay now with this you can just uh, right click here and create a new text document so whatever you want you can do in this uh, particular system and here you can see the sound option is not there that's because it's a virtual system so there is no point of having a time uh, having a sound right 
so this is how you can easily create on ec2 instant and you can launch in the remote desktop mode uh, for your use and uh, if you want any other configuration as well as uh, you can pay and you can have it but this is just a free account and the process is same if you use any other configuration with paid version as well so this is uh, how you can create a ec2 instance or a virtual machine on amazon cloud services and in the next video we'll be talking some about other wind other operating system how we can access that and uh, further we'll go to uh, other services as well so it from this video that's it and uh, keep learning have a good day